the Russian Mafia, who's hot now? I went to school at Florida State. I was not a very good student. I used to think Anne Frank and Helen Keller were the same person. They're not. Found that out of the Anne Frank house. My buddy's like, we should do something cultural while we're here. Want to go to the Anne Frank house? I was like, fuck yeah. I've been hearing jokes about this chick my whole life. Get high as shit, put a plunger in her toilet, and be like, oh, 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 oh. They're like, I, I don't, I don't think you can go into her bathroom. I was like, you can't? Like, no, you can go and see the closet they kept her. And I was like, well, they kept her in a closet? <laughs> like, of course, the Nazis were looking for her. I go, the fucking Nazis were looking for her? How bad did this chick have it? Can't see, can't hear, can't talk, locked in a closet. Nazis are looking for her? Wait, how did the Nazis not find <laughs> Banging around in the closet. My point is, I wasn't a good student. I signed up for a Russian class one time thinking it was Spanish, and it took me three classes before I realized I don't think this is Spanish. So I got up to leave, the teacher was hot as shit. She stopped me, she goes, don't go anywhere. I need 14 kids to teach this class, and you're the 14. Stop! Tell them what you said. 
Now I'm like, fuck it, I'm a machine! <laughs> they look at me, look at each other, and they're like, fuck it, he's a machine! And I became the machine, and they fucking loved me. Because I drank shop shop with them all night long, and all I knew how to say in the language was, I'm a machine! <laughs> and I fuck cats. Anyway, <laughs> the guy that answered the door, he was my best friend, his name was Igor. We did everything together. We ran a pool hall scam, we stole a boat, and then one day, the whole class takes an overnight train trip to Moscow, and Igor tells me, he goes, I can't go. I said, why not? He goes, Dibra Mafia runs train, Dibra Mafia runs Moscow. I said, well, what's that, what's that mean for me? He's like, don't worry, I had to set up Banditi, they'll take care of you. Sure enough, we get to the train station, and he introduces me to my two new gangsters, Igor and Igor. <laughs> And he's like, guys, this is the machine. If you give the machine vodka, you'll have a great time. And the bigger the two Igors looks like a kid on Christmas. He's like, oh, I can't wait to play with the machine. <laughs> he grabs me and he goes, the machine sits in first class. I'm like, that's what I'm fucking talking about. <clears throat> we go to first class, it is pimped out. There's booze, there's food, and here's the real gangster part. Second the train takes off out of the station, everyone that works on the train comes in to pay their respects. The fucking conductor walks in, rips off the stars and stripes of his shirt, his shirt, places them on my lap and goes, this is a present for the machine. It would be an honor to do a shot of vodka with the machine. I am 22 years old thinking, oh, these machine stories might have gone out of control. <laughs> We drink all the booze in an hour, Big Igor stands up, he goes, Machine, we go to the bar cart to get more vodka. I'm like, fuck it, I'm in the mob, I'll do whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> we roll in the bar cart like a big dick in a locker room, just, not that I've ever been that guy, but I've seen it. <laughs> Igor says to me in Russian, he goes, Machine, go behind the bar and grab bread. In Russian, <clears throat> in Russian, and I understood him. For a second, I'm like, I'm fucking learning. I'm learning the language my way, not through flashcards and textbooks, but by joining the Mafia. I'm behind the bar like, Igor, I know what you said. He's like, go for your machine. Can the machine find cheese? And I was like, see you. cheese, I got it, give me another one. He's like, grab vodka. I was like, already know that one, give me another one. He's like, grab the money. I'm like, huh? <laughs> He's like, grab the fucking money. And I realized at that instant, we're robbing the bar cart and I'm the one doing it, hooked on phonics style. <laughs> I grab this shit, walk out, two of my classmates see me, and they're like, you're in so much fucking trouble. We get back to our first class cabin, and within five minutes, the head chaperone of this train trip, not the whole trip, just this train trip, she was an English teacher who did not speak Russian. She swings our first class cabin door open with that liberal arts confidence. This shit? is fucking over. You're done, mister. Get up right now. How dare you? Stand up. Big Eagle looks at me, takes a big sip of vodka, spits in her eyes, and goes, no one talks to the machine like that. <laughs> Shuts it on her face and goes, fuck that bitch. This is Russia. <clears throat> Don't worry, machine. When it gets dark, we have good time. I'm like, what the fuck? What are you doing? <laughs> Reaches into his pocket, pulls out a ring of keys, and he goes, we're rubbing the whole fucking train. Yeah. Now, this is the most interesting part of the story, if you ask me, and I've heard the story a lot. <laughs> I posted this story on Facebook like three years ago, four years ago. I didn't think anyone was gonna see it. The first time I posted it, my wife got in bed. She goes, oh my God, did you see how many people saw your video? And I said, no, how many? She goes, 20,000. I was like, that's not a lot. She goes, no, I know, but 15,000 people shared it. And I was like, yeah, you don't know how to work the internet. <laughs> Next morning I woke up, she was sitting crisscross applesauce in the bed. She said, don't know how to work the internet, huh? I said, no, you don't. She goes, three million people saw your story last night, dickhead. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> and I tracked this video when watched it grow and went from three million to seven million to nine million to 12 million, 13. 15, 20, 30, 40 million, and then, and then other people would rip it and it would get like 80 million views. I had to figure out why this happened. Here is what I found. <clears throat> when that video was shared on your page, as most of you did, and thank you fucking forever, you'll never know how grateful I am. 
You'll never know. I might be shitting my pants right now. <laughs> the way the internet worked, the way the algorithm for Facebook worked at the time, was that the first comment that would show up on your page was the top comment from my page. The most interactive comment on my page would be the first one anyone saw. The top comment from my page was left by a woman named Kristen Hodgson. She lives in Minnesota. I know a great deal about her now. Her comment read, uh, I was in Bert's rushing class. I was on this trip. This story is 100% true. He fucking robbed us. <laughs> And then she tagged everyone in my class. <laughs> you couldn't pay for marketing like that. But I robbed her. I robbed her. I robbed the whole train. We robbed everyone while they slept, if it makes it any better. And then we drank hard as fuck. We pulled into Moscow, wasted. Like, top five drunkest I've ever been in my life without throwing up. What's number one, Bert? My wedding. Great question. Thanks for asking. <laughs> I was so drunk at my wedding, I went down on my wife and forgot to take her tights off. <laughs> we pull into Moscow, train stops, sun's up, door opens, same teacher, not mad. Train stops, same teacher, smiles at me, leans in, looks at me and goes, I want to be the one to tell you they've alerted the police. And I look out and I see two cops talking to my whole class. They're in their pajamas, they're upset, they've been robbed, I get it. <laughs> Big Igor sees this and is completely unfazed. He's like, don't worry. I speak to police for both of us. I was like, oh, thank God. He goes out to the cops who are taking a statement, grabs one of them by the arm, spins him around and just goes, fuck you. We fuck you in the mouth. We fuck you in the ass. We, I'm like, stop with the fucking we shit. <laughs> I'm not fucking anybody. Like, I'll, I'll definitely hold him down, but I'm not gonna fuck him. <laughs> now the cop is just staring at me and I hear him bark out, Pardon, you did, you did, which I don't even know what that means, but it doesn't sound like, you're okay, stay there. <laughs> I understand you're fucking me later. <laughs> I walk to the cop, who's standing in front of the class I just robbed. Next to the gangster I robbed them with, all I'm thinking is, this isn't how I plan on spending my second junior year. <laughs> I get five steps from the cop who looks impatient as fuck. He takes two big steps, grabs me by the arm, spins me away from my class, away from Igor, gets right in my face and goes, so, I understand you're the machine, huh? <laughs> nice, tonight you party with us. I was like, excuse me? He goes, tonight you party with us. Do you like strip clubs? I was like, fuck yeah, I like strip clubs. I was like, wait, I'm not in trouble? And he gets so close to me, I can smell his morning cigarette, and he goes, no, fuck that bitch, this is us, huh? 